As I get to the door, I start to think about where I should sit. I search for the spot that I think is least likely to result in me having to talk to anyone. Ideally, I'll be able to see everyone, but no one will be able to see me. I always feel stupid while standing in a queue. Tom Green. I feel like I'm being processed. When in a talk, I get the urge to add something to what the speaker is saying. Before your interview, plan your route. Know where you're going. You've made some great points there, Jill. And remember, don't be disheartened if you don't get anything on the first 20 tries. The smartest man in the job centre comes to my head and I jot it down to add to the list of potential epitaphs. The lady encourages us to look at a page in our booklets. Have a look at page eight. That sound of pages slowly turning together always gets me. I wonder if Maureen had to get training to give this talk. When giving a talk, it is important to include anecdotes at any given opportunity. My university careers advisor always had a conveniently relevant anecdote at the ready to prove her point. I imagine these most likely hypothetical people. Jack, who found a job washing mice on Facebook. Michelle, whose cousin's book burning company were hiring temps over Christmas. Maureen is doing the same. Find out about the company. But I believe her stories are true because she doesn't totally rinse the device. Whatever you can find. I look out of the window into the bullpen and see an attractive young woman having an appointment. See, it's not just ugly, helpless people who go on the doll. Maybe we could start a club or a band or something. The Young Beautiful Job Seeking Graduate Society. YBJSGS. I wonder what this talk would be like if everybody said everything that came to their mind in response to the talk. I wonder what it'd be like if everyone said everything that they thought out loud. I find it very difficult to picture the person who designs those things and what his house looks like. Why can't we all be like them? I wish I knew what the people in the photo were actually saying when the photo was taken. I bet it's not how great looking for jobs is. Handbook jobs, hand jobs. I bet it's inappropriate. I wonder where they all are now. Maybe they were all shot dead after that photo. Maybe they laughed to death. Maybe they're in this room looking for work. Signing on, death by irony.